All right. Let's talk about the reaction between aluminum and copper chloride. So we have aluminum solid plus copper to chloride aqueous. And they react to make copper solid. And uh, let's actually flip it. Copper solid and aluminum chloride aqueous. All right, let's figure out why and let's put some numbers in front of each of, uh, each of these reactants and products. Okay, first thing first, aluminum has three valence electrons. Copper chloride in water, aqueous, it breaks apart into its ions. So you have Cu2 plus and these Cl minuses. This is an ionic, this is an ionic compound. They're bound to each other. Uh, when they're solid, you put water in there and they break apart. And we're gonna find out that positive and negative ions really like water, because they like dissolved water. So, aluminum, actually, when you have aluminum and copper together, there's this thing called the activity series that says, aluminum actually is a little stronger than copper, and it wants to form a three plus ion more than copper. Copper is pretty stable right now, but aluminum's kind of like, here, you know what? I actually wanna lose electrons. You should take my electrons. The reason why for that, that's, that's a more honors topic, but we can talk about it if you want. Come to tutorial. So, aluminum has three electrons, copper has two plus. It wants to get rid of all three of them, so it gives two to this copper here, okay? Uh, this one still has another electron to give away, so another copper chloride is called upon. And really, when we have it in solution, we have zillions of them, so they're there, so they're th they're. If there's an electron to give, there, there's a copper chloride right next door to, to ready to get it. So this one here gives it here, gives one electron there. So maybe I'm gonna draw, uh, well, I'll do this one. But this one can still take another electron, so another aluminum comes along here and gives it. And Nick has, look, it has two more electrons to give. If only a, if there's a copper that wants it. Oh, of course, there's one nearby, my cousin. C-U-C-L, too. And you see how they all come together, right? The Cu and the two Cl's, they're like a match set, okay? All right, good. And this one gives its electrons to you, all right? So what you make, so this, these two react uh, to make, well, let's take a look here. Now we have a bunch of aluminum, Al, three plus ions, okay? I'm gonna draw them both out here, three plus ions. And we have, uh, when you give these electrons to copper, you end up with, this is solid copper, of solid copper um, atoms. So there's three of them. So let's take a look. Let's put some numbers in front of all this. So there are two of these aluminums that started out with, okay? React with three of these copper chlorides. Okay, good. To make, well, let's pause for a second on this one. But for sure, we have three of these copper, uh, solid copper atoms. So let's figure out what happened with the chlorides. The chlorides are just bonded to the positive ions. They're the, they're the opposite charges, the opposites attract. It's an ionic compound. They're happy together. Uh, once copper gets electrons, though, does it want to bond? Uh, does it have a positive charge that is attracted to the chlorides? No. It's almost like, you know, I got my electrons. I don't need you anymore. Chlorides are like, Fine, I don't want to be in a place where, where I'm not wanted. But who wants, who is attracted to this aluminum? I mean, sorry, that's a spoiler alert. Who is attracted to these chlorides? Well, aluminum now has a positive charge. Before, it was a metal. It didn't need, it didn't need to bond anything. Now, it's a positive charge and opposites attract. Aluminum has super positive powers, so it attracts three of these chlorides. So three of these chlorides are going to be attracted to one of these. And then three of these chlorides are attracted to this one. So total to make two of these aluminum chloride, um, well, they're called formula units. So like a molecule, but remember, it's not just aluminum chloride chloride, that's it. It's aluminum chloride chloride, aluminum chloride chloride. They bond in these cool three-dimensional shapes. Okay? So there are two of these here. And notice that there are six chlorides before and six after. So this is a classic chemical reaction in that it's a shuffling of atoms. Nothing is created or destroyed. Okay, so let me review the whole thing. Aluminum had three electrons. It gave them to the copper ions. Uh, it, the ratio is two of these to three of these so that 
all three electrons are, that are given off are taken by three of these copper uh, ions. They form solid copper, three of those solid coppers, okay? Make sure they don't look like they're bonding. The aluminums uh, lose their electrons and become three plus, and they need something to bond to, so they have an ionic bond with chlorides, so they bond with the chlorides. So overall, you have two aluminum atoms, solid aluminum atoms, reacting with three copper chloride uh, uh, formula units, uh, react to make two aluminum chlorides and three solid coppers. Okay, that's it. Bye.